Hey guys, I'm Jay. Today is my little review one take vlog on 236th problem. Lois common ancestor of a binary tree. We are given a binary tree. We have to find the lowest common ancestor of two given nodes in the tree. According to the definition of LCA on Wikipedia, the lowest common ancestor is defined between two nodes, P and Q, as the lowest node in T that has both P and Q as descendants, where we allow a node to be a descendant of itself. Let's see example one here to see to understand this problem easily. We got an input binary tree, and P is 5 and Q is 1. So the LCA of nodes 5 and 1 is node 3. And let's see example 2 here. The P and Q is 5 and 4. So their LCA is node 5. And let's see example 3 here. We got 1 and 2. So the answer is 1, the root node. And there are some constraints we have to know. All the node dot value are unique, and P is now equal to Q, and P and Q would exist in this tree. And then, let's get started with the intuition to solve the problem. And there are two approaches. There are two approaches. First is called the recursive solution, and the second is the iterative solution. First, recursive, oops, recursive solution. And the detail is, we'll perform a depth first search to explore the binary tree from the root node, and we'll look for the nodes P and Q during the traversal. Once both nodes are found on the left or right subtree, then we can determine the lowest common ancestor by identifying the node where both subtrees diverge. And this node will be the LCA lowest common ancestor. And then let's get in the code and step by step. First, we have to handle three bad case. If the root node is now or if the root equals to P or Q, then we will return the current node itself to the upper recursion if possible. This is because the this node could be the LCA. So there are three bad cases. If root equals now or root equals equals P, Q or root equals P. Then we will return the root itself to the upper recursion if possible. Or or if we didn't meet these bad cases, then we'll recurse on the left subtree and the right subtree. So the code is we'll create a local variable. Let's say left 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 subtree and we have to recurse what we call the lowest common ancestor method. Lowest common ancestor method with the node.left and p and q and it's very similar to the right subtree lowest common ancestor of node.right and p and q and out of the recursion and then we'll check if the left if the left and right right variables are now or not if both left and right are none now. It means both P and Q are found in different subtrees separately. Therefore, the current node, the root node, would be the LCA. So the code is if left is now equal to now and right is now equal to now, which means P and Q exist in the left subtree or the right subtree. So, we just return the root node itself. And out of the if condition. And then, which means one of the left or right variable could be now. And if the left or right subtree recursive call gives a null value, 
This means we haven't found the LCA in this subtree. So, but on the other way, we could found the LCA on the another subtree. So we'll return the now now value from the left or right to the upper recursion if possible. So our code is we'll return if left is not equal to now. If so, we just return left or we just return right. And that's all the code for the first approach. Let's submit code and check for the correctness and analyze the time and space complexity. Oh, oops, it is not node, it is root here. Let's resubmit it again and wait for the answer. Yes, our code got accepted. And then let's analyze our time and space complexity. So the time complexity, it is big O of N, and N stands for the number of nodes in the binary tree. And this is because in the worst case, we have to traverse all the nodes in a binary tree to find the lowest common ancestor. And for the space complexity, it is big O of H, and H stands for the height of the binary tree. This is because we have used the recursive call stack. And there are two cases. In the worst case, the height of the tree could be n if the tree is a skewed tree. And the second case is if the tree is the balanced tree, the height could be big O of log log n. So h is between log n to n. And that's the first approach. And then let's get into the second approach. And the second approach is called iterative solution. Using an extra parent pointers map and a stack. So the details the detail is the detail is we'll use an extra hash map to store the parent pointers during the DFS or BFS traversal. Once we store the parent of each node, we can trace the path from P and Q back to the root and found the first common ancestor. And then let's get started with the code state by state. First, we'll create several extra variables. The first variable is a hash map to store the parent pointers of each node. And the key is the node and the value is the node's parent. So the code is map of tree node and tree node. Let's call it map and we'll assign a new empty hash map to it. And then we also have to create an extra hash state to store all the ancestors of node P because we'll check each ancestor of Q with this hash set to find their common ancestor of the P and Q. So we'll create a state of tree node. Let's call it state. We'll assign a new empty hash state to the state variable. And, and thirdly, we'll, we still have to create an extra stack to perform the depth first search to simulate the recursion. Stack of tree node. That's called stack, and we'll assign a new stack to it. And then we'll push the root node into the stack and the parent and the parent hash map. The code is stack dot push of the root node and map dot put the root node and corresponding parent node. 
which is now and then we'll create a while for loop to perform our depth first search traversal to populate all the parent map populate the parent map until both p and q node are found so the code is while well, now symbol with map dot contains contain keys contains key of p or not symbol map dot contains key of q and inside the while loop first we need to pop a node from the stack the code is we'll create a node variable equals stack.pop and then we'll add the right subtree and its parent into the map and then we'll push the right subtree first so that the left subtree is processed first in the stack due to the last in and first out feature so we can obey the sequence of the pre-order traversal so we'll check if node.right is not equal to now if so we'll push the node into the stack and the map the code is map.put with node.right and its parent which is node itself and we also have to push it into the stack stack.push of node.bytes and it is very similar for this left subtree the code is if node.left is not equal to now then we'll put node.left and its parent into the map and we also have to put node.left into the stack And out of the while loop, which means we have pushed all the corresponding relationship between the node and its parent into the map. So then we have to add all the ancestors of the node P into the hash state. So we'll create a second while loop. While P is not equal to now, and then we'll put each p into the ancestor ancestor which is the state here state with add of p and then we have to update the p variable into its parent so the code is p equals map dot get of p map dot get of p will get the parent node of the node p so we'll add all the ancestor which is the parent node of p node into the hash state and then we'll check each ancestor of the q node, node q upwards to found their current their common ancestor so the code is while well, not symbol with state that contains contains of, key, of Q. If so, we have to update the Q until we find their common ancestor. The code is Q equals map.get of Q. And out of the while loop, then the updated Q is now the lowest common ancestor so we just return q itself and let's dump the code and check for the correctness and we'll analyze the time and space complexity yes our code got accepted so the time complexity it is big o of n as we traverse all the nodes once to build the the relationship map and the hash state and the space complexity it is big O of n as we stored the parent the parent relationship into the hash map and also we create additional space for the stack to do the recursion 
simulation. And this is the end of my little review vlog on this problem. And I highly recommend you guys to visit my online GitHub page here, which contains all the problem description, intuition, and the idea, and Java code with detailed explanation, and the final time and space complexity analysis. You can also visit my online GitHub page here, my online GitHub, GitHub repository here, which contains all the code and node to build this online GitHub page. And I'll put those two links on my YouTube description below. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.